Alright, this is Tim at Matchbox Customs and Restos. And what I'm going to show you is the Matchbox 5 pack of wagons. I had to do, I had to get a pretty uh, wide shot there, but um, what's in here is the. Boy, this is going to be hard. So. What we got here is the, on top is the O2 Audi RS 6 Avant, the 64 Ford Fairlane Wagon, the uh, Cadillac CTS Wagon, the 59 Chevy Wagon, Impala body style, and a 71 Old Vista Cruiser. Uh, been wanting to open this and go ahead and do a video on it, but... I've kind of hesitated a few times but you guys kind of like these opening videos so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this as careful as possible and this is from the 2022 collection so and believe it or not I only bought it for basically one wagon but uh, let me get that open so I'm going to start off here with the top one. Now as you can see, uh, that's the Audi. Detailing is nice. Uh, they actually got all the emblems and headlights and actually right on the, right on every spot they should be looks pretty good I don't know what that is that almost looks like a parting line in the in the um, let me get uh, get some of this stuff out of my way here so this way I can actually do something but it looks like there's a parting line in the window that's weird Well, not a bad looking car after, you know, for what it is. So let's put that there. This is a 64 Ford Fairlane. No detailing. Just a body stripe down the side. That's about it. So this will be a good candidate for a wheel swap and... Um, detailing the stuff it's all the chrome trim that goes on these it's not done not the nothing not the tail lights nothing bumpers need to be done everything so that'll be a good candidate for detailing This is the Cadillac CTS wagon. Detailing done good. Doesn't seem to have any flaw. Well, a little bit right there. But other than that, it seems to be a pretty decent little wagon. This is a 2010 Cadillac CTS. I don't know if you guys can see that. CTS wagon. And this was a 2020 car. Let's see what this was. The 64 Ford Fairlane was a 2017. And the Audi was a 2004 originally. Let's go to the Chevy. Now this one, I want to get a good look at it. Okay, that comes off the top. I almost wonder, and everybody's going to say, oh, why do you want to do that? Maybe taking this out, filling it in, putting the lines the way it should be, and just making a regular top out of it. They, did the de they didn't detail the headlights or the chrome trim that goes everywhere or the bumpers or anything. Take all the tampos off the side of it. 
and I think that would be a decent looking car. Purple, but decent. Not that I have any problem with the color purple. This, this was the car I actually really wanted, was the Vista Cruiser. And this one originally came out in 2009. Let's see. The, this one, the Chevy came out originally in 2016. So, this is the one I wanted. I wanted this color. I wanted the wood grain. I wanted, you know, all the, exactly what I wanted. But I think I want to do a wheel swap on it. Some kind of mag wheel, something cool. Maybe something... Maybe something like that. Oh, that would look cool on a Vista Cruiser. That's something I may do. Do the rest of the detailing. You know, the Oldsmobile emblem. They, I mean, it's there. They did. They put all the details there. Just didn't do them. Door handles. I mean, I could put the chrome in the mirrors. Make it look like it has uh, mirrors. But I think this would be a really good candidate for detailing and stuff. I'm hoping you guys are seeing all this. I'm not sure what they did right here. Man, there's a dip. I don't remember these A-body wagons having that dip right there. But I do remember some of them had a crank for cranking the back window down. But yeah, I think this will be a cool little car to detail. This one's definitely going to be a cool little car to go through and make it look good. I kind of wanted to op open this, especially for this one, because I want to try to do my thing of doing the tampos and see, taking them off like I did in the last video, to see if I can, if it'll, if the paint is better since actually Mattel's doing it. But my top three out of these are these wagons right here. These others, I, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, they might be just something that sits in the background or something, but these, you know, I'm, I'm more into the classic stuff, so <clears throat> I'm going to do something with these for sure. Like I said, this might be coming off the top. I might fill this top in. If I do that, then I'll have to do a total repaint on it, but um, I think that would just be a, just be nice to have it without the, any holes in the top of it or anything. But anyways, figured I'd do a quick video about another opening on, uh, on these wagons. I've been wanting to get around to doing it, but uh, it's just, I've just kind of put it off because I wasn't sure if I wanted to open the package. But now that I've opened the package, I'm glad I did. So, anyways, like, subscribe, share. Uh, every bit of it helps. This channel, you know, uh, I'd like to get it up to a 1,000 subscribers. That would be great. Um, so, anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. I got some, I got some more stuff I'm going to open up. So, uh, if you want to see that, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.